Hi friends, welcome to Sketch Tutorials. And today's video is about tips and tricks in Sketchware app. As you know, Sketchware is very rapidly popular, and today I'll show you most important tips and tricks that every user must know. So follow me. Open the app Sketchware and let's take a dummy project and I'm going to name it as a dummy and most the first important tip is uh, about the layout section for example uh, by default the layout of this action bar is vertical for example if you want to place any widgets all the widgets are placing one by one that is all the layouts are placing vertically not horizontally because by default um, the sketchware has an option um, to make it vertical for example if you want to place it horizontal then you have to take a linear horizontal element then you have to implement this like this and you have to edit the properties to match parent you would have to match parent also then all the apps are linearly placing horizontally as you can see now and that is the tip one and let's move to the tip two I am deleting this and the tip two is about image view because image view as you can see now uh, the default image is Android here as you can see the scale type this is very important fit x y fit start fit center fit end center center crop center inside and if you go to the widget helper here you can see the properties of the for example if you select the scale type to be fit x y then this image look like this and fit start okay it always makes one thing uh, for example okay let me take let me import an image to make it explain you import and I am going to take image this and I am changing this to second that's it as you can see now um, the image is like this and for example if I change the property to match parent to this also then as you can see here it is only taking a small portion of the area and if I change the scale type to be fit x y then it changes to the width and height of that and it's very important tip guys you have to make sure this is also enabled and this is the tip too and the next trip is about no action bar because um, by default the action bar sets a title uh, the action bar is very important guys if you want to change the action bar then there are two options available making a custom action bar or replacing the name of the action bar for example um, I'll start this project with the name dummy and uh, when I run the app it changes to the name dummy as you can see now I'm going to install I'm not program just installing the app to show you as this is a dummy app dummy uh, the action bar is also dummy as you can see here so I'm going to rename it for example here as you can see under the component section activity set title and here I'm going to rename it as sketchware that's it and let's run the app as you can see now wait as you can see now the action bar is sketchware that's it and there is also how to remove this because um, sometimes it's annoying and we want full 
image and full uh, content of the app then simply go to the three dots and go to the view manager and select the activity and here as you can see the team no action bar here yes got it then you can see that the action bar is gone that's it and the another thing is will show source code and as you can see here um, if you are thinking that um, you can know anything in the sketchware app then you'll start uh, observing the the source codes of the app to learn more better and to become your own applications and the other thing is also about edit text because edit text is used to take the user input i'm going to modify it now and i'm set the layout width, sorry layout height to the app content and layout width to match parent for example if i am taking user input as a phone number then i have to set this input type to be phone number and if i run the app and i'll show you one minute and if i press it instead of qwerty keypad i'll get a numeric keypad and if i change it to text then i'll get a qwerty keypad i'll show you as you can see now it's qwerty keypad and it's very important guys and now the another thing is if you are uh, creating a login type uh, app then you have to set uh, you have to take input from the user that is password that password must not be seen so that's why i'm set the property to input type to be text password and i'm going to run it now and if i install now as you can see now i'll get qwerty keypad and numeric keypad also at the top and if i press if i write anything the numbers or the text changes to dots so this is how the edit text works and this is the must known tip to everyone because it's a very useful feature and i think that's it for today and that's it for today guys thank you for watching my videos please like and subscribe for more videos like this thank you